Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Break Star. If I move my hand, it changes the color of the table. Uh, let's go like this. <laughs> so anyway, uh, if you're watching this soon after it is posted, we're going to be doing the tipper truck video. If you're watching this after the tipper truck video, go watch the tipper truck video. I worked really hard on that, and I'm hoping everybody enjoys it and gets uh, mesmerized by it. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be up, uh, unboxing this package from eBay. But before I do that, just uh, show you some of the behind the scenes again in the BrickLink store, uh, what happened when I f was missing a piece and what I discovered from that, and then another package I got from Goodwill. So I was picking this BrickLink order, and I'm missing one of these. I was supposed to have 14 of these lids. The lid, the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid, the lid. And there are only 13 here. That is only in two sets, two of which I've parted out extensively. One was the Silver Mine shootout from the Lone Ranger theme. I have my personal copy. Of course, it's used. These are all new. I have no more sealed copies of that. I did have the other set that came in, which is this. Pirate Code is sealed. I think I got an opened one somewhere, but it's guaranteed uh, to be new, right? It should be in here. Oh yeah, it's right there. It's just, wait, yeah, I think it's just the lid. The lid, lid, lid. And then while I was doing that, I found this. I think um, Battery Powered Bricks had a question about that thing. I found that going through the boxes. We got the RC card that we gonna do our 15 year anniversary with that. I found another Bionicle set, which I'm trying to get rid of, but to just give you an idea, my dedication, the box was behind all these boxes. I had to move all those boxes. The box P22 <laughs> uh, was where that pirate code set was. So give me another excuse to get rid of this stuff. Oh, I just dented the box. The cheapest new is $21. What's the part out value of this set? It's $38.40. I'm gonna see what the, the part out is of it see how much i'm hurting myself by opening this oh six eighty dollars <laughs> whoops i hope i did the right set i wonder what's so valuable in this i have to go look at the individual pieces but it's crazy it's 83 dollars part out value oh there's the chest cold and there's the lift warmer and now i'm gonna have a chest without a lid, um, but I'll be able to have a complete order and not have to refund somebody. Warmer, you're hot! I think technically this is called a trunk lid. You're on fire! Oh, it burns! So definitely gonna part out that. They'll give me another box for storage purposes. Good grief, what was so valuable in that set? So the lid is a dollar and five cents. The trunk itself is five seventy-five. No, oh, I see why mine sold out. Fifty-one cents. That's that's a, a case of you know I parted those out years ago and they've been sitting in my store at that price and then finally the I guess the overall price came down where I had one of the lower priced ones on Bricklink. Let's see. Oh yeah, they've been selling for sixty-four cents. I know there's still some that are lower. So I don't feel too bad about that, but uh, definitely trying to figure out what's going on here. Let's sort by price. I'll go this way. So the minifigure, that base, there's eight, oh, there's eight of those slope pieces there. Even that clip is expensive. A dollar for that clip? That's crazy. So I think that's where, yeah, that's where most of the value is. And they've got 12 of these gems that are 42 cents. So, I mean, it's hard to believe, $84.00. I gotta remember to delete the lid. There we go. So one of the earliest big part outs I did was of those Buzz Lightyear and Zerg sets. This is the Build a Zerg, I think it was. And so this, these are the Zerg pieces, and these are the capes from Zerg. So my, and then he bought thirty-four of these. I think these go with those, and then I think these go with that. And he bought some other random pieces, but everything sells eventually. So I was doing an unboxing for my train channel. Trains are fun. And we've got this big Thomas and Friends lot. And this is from Goodwill. And 
and the bottom of the box was the uh, vintage uh, Lego set, which I it was only I think sixteen dollars. I already have this box, so it's not really that that big a deal. But it is kind of disappointing that they would take it and just throw it because these these especially the metal engines here they're very heavy. But I'll tell you why I bought this is like I'm trying to get more of. I love these little milk crate cartons. Uh, I call, or milk. <laughs> I probably said that wrong. They're they're little trays, but they're like milk jug, like that that milky um, uh, texture or color. So this is pretty much vintage era stuff, except for that green slope that does not belong there. But yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the little ones, which is what I like. So not so much as concerned about the box, even though I'm not happy the, of the way they shipped it. Uh, the parts are pretty much common. There's nothing really rare in here. Even the waffle bottom plates, they're not rare. Two by four brick, now that's rare. Yeah, very rare. Um, some windows. Oh, look at that. Uh, solid stud that with the old logo. That's, you know, those are harder to find. So, yeah, that this will all go into the collection. I got a, I'm pretty sure I got one of these better condition. I uh, don't think I've ever done a video on it. This is one of those sets. I'll tell you one of the reasons I haven't done some of the vintage sets like this from Samsonite era. I think this, yeah, this is manufactured for lego by samsonite let's see if we can get this back in the box Ooh. so yeah samsonite a quality product of samsonite corporation so it's got suggested ideas but there never was any building instructions so you pretty much build whatever you want and if you try to build the designs is that a castle that's a train <laughs> a rabbit train <laughs> Yeah, if you try to build stuff that's on here, it's going to be very hard. So it's just just a box of bricks is all it is. All right, so now we'll get to this package. Uh, this is one from eBay from Lars, who, uh, yeah, recognized me. <laughs> I may have bought from him before, but this is some stuff to help me complete my vintage sets. It's this Sterling Airways stuff. Let's see what, I think it... If I remember right, there should be more than one thing. Yes, we got the Sterling Airways 1555 and the Sterling Airways 1550. And I don't, don't remember because I bought a few other things recently. Uh, if I know one of these doesn't have the, like the, I think it's this one, doesn't have the little stickers on it. But let's get this out of here. Oh, and, oh. And the baggage cart. Okay, there were there's multiple things. So this is the uh, Sterling baggage cart. So this is one of those I was going to piece together. I had actually bought a bunch of these Sterling 1x4 bricks because I think you'd need a bunch of them uh, to build this set. And then there's the Sterling brick with the thing on the side. But I just, with this, he had a, the picture of it on eBay. And I was like, okay, it's already got all the main printed parts. Uh, all I would need is the instructions, I guess. So, <laughs> got that. And this plane is this is the 1555 airplane. So, it's going to be missing these little bitty stickers here, like that. And then the 1550. Boy, it is so small. Uh, these, these are vintage sets, but all in that, that same price range are all the sterling stuff. So this one would have had these printed bricks that are the windows. I don't know if you can see that. And then there's a sticker here and then the tailpiece. So where is, the, yeah, there's the tailpiece. I think this one would be missing the Sterling stickers, but it's got some of the other main parts. So just went ahead and I said, this is a good way to get those instructions, the pieces for all these sets. And then I just work on what's missing uh, or getting after, I couldn't find anybody selling the third-party stickers, the uh, reproduction stickers of this, uh, which is not surprising. I may already have it. For some reason, I'm like, do I already have that airplane? 
<laughs> I don't know. Uh, but thank you, Lars. Um, I like how you packaged everything and it arrives safely. And we'll be building all this. And we'll, like I said, I'm going to be doing a series going through the entire Legoland collection. So if you want to see all of the Legoland sets that are in that theme, um, stay tuned. And I'll be doing that. So thank you, Lars. And thank you for watching. And uh, we'll be back with another video. Be sure to check out the Tipper Truck Army. See, I, I use these for picking orders. I love them.